this and do the cobra weave knot. Like this. Scoot it in. I'm going to zoom in a little, just a little, right here, mm, yeah, so that's how we're going to start, and let's, it's, this one's super easy, it's like the cobra weave one, except different. And you want to measure and see how big your wrist is. You might want it like one or a half an inch. Or, yeah, one inch longer than your wrist measurement. Because this will take up space on here. So, this one you go up, under, and through, I think. We'll see if it's right. This. So, right there. this one off to the side over here. So you've got that. And then let's do it again. And we're going through. So it looks like this. Pull the gray before you pull the blue. Alright, I'm back. I was doing the right thing. Just wait one second. I was using the right, wrong color. So it seems like that what I need to do right here is use the purple instead of the gray rope. So you put the purple through, do the same thing, go under with the gray rope. So it doesn't matter if you go tight up like that with this, it just matters if you get it tied up right here. So, you're, if you, there's one way you can do it, and it'll be easier. So, this right here, you could just keep it tied up, and it would be a right much easier. Instead of pulling it. You might need to pull it. So this one must be the hardest one at first. But you just go over to the other side with your one right here. Yeah, I think the first knot will be the hardest one. And then you do the same thing over again. You go over. And you go under. And. Yeah. Over. Under. 
Okay, and back. The camera died on me, so as you can see, I got my knot right there. So the first knot right here is gonna be the hardest, and not my knot look good, but it's the rest of the bracelet will look good. So you keep going back and forth, and you go under. Like this through that loop that you made. Like that. So, yes, so you go through like this. We've got our third knot done, and I'll do two more knots and then skip to the end. So through, I'm going to tighten it right here, and the reason this video looks, this um, film that I made looks different than the one before is because the camera angle was wrong, was weird. And I just figured out that you can make the camera angle go like this because this is my sister. She got it for her for Christmas. And so you go under. So that explains why it's different than the other one. Like this. So I got this done. And then you've got that one done. So as you can see, it looks like an S. Yep. So that's your S right there. That's what you want to be looking for. And I'll see you guys till I am done. So as you can see, that I am done right here. So I'll just do my finishing knots for you. So I'm going to do like one more of these ones right here. So you can see. Under. Through. Okay. So you want to pull this back over like that. And then the last knot, just do a cobra weave. It's easy. Just do this. Go over and under. And you are done. And so, check your wrist right here. Zoom out. And put this on. See if it fits you. Like, this one fits me. So, so measure your wrist before you do this, because if you don't, it'll be a really big pain to unravel. So just clip it off a little. Now, I don't have, like, lighters or anything, so I am going to use something different. This. Melt it, blow it out, 
do that. Now, I've got parent supervision for this, so you guys know. Okay, then you come down here and do the same thing. Lighter, a match, anything will probably work. That's hot enough. Wait one second. You want to probably do it before you get a big flame. Like that. And now you have your awesome slithering snake bracelet. So I hope you guys like this one. It's probably the best one I've done so far. And Leave a comment on which one you'd like me to what bracelet, or if you want me to do a keychain, or what you want me to do, which one you want me to do. And uh, I'll see you guys later.